Embouchure Tips, Part 2. Here's an exercise that you can use if you find yourself using too much mouthpiece pressure while playing. First thing you're going to do is promise that you're not going to drop your mouthpiece or make your student promise that they're not going to drop their mouthpiece. Because the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mouthpiece and then instead of holding it in our thumb and first finger, which is a stronger finger that would still allow us to use pressure when putting the mouthpiece on our lips, we're gonna use our thumb and our ring finger, which is a weaker finger, it's farther away from your thumb, and it makes it much harder to push the mouthpiece into your face while you're buzzing. So we're gonna take the mouthpiece very carefully between our thumb and our ring finger, and we'll start with one note. And that might be straightforward enough, but from there, we want to buzz a mouthpiece siren going up. And then if you're using too much mouthpiece pressure, you'll for sure know because your fingers will start to slide up the mouthpiece. And we won't be able to get a full siren because we'll have been depending on our embouchure too much to make the sound when we should be depending on our air. Eventually you should be able to make a siren like this. So if you notice you're using too much mouthpiece pressure, the solution is to replace that pressure with air, particularly faster air if you're moving up into the high range. You also want to make sure that you're not pushing with your mouthpiece so hard on your top lip that it's flattening out because that will cause your aperture to lose its round shape and make it much more difficult to play. So one more time, we're gonna take our mouthpiece, we're gonna put it between our thumb and our ring finger and have no other fingers be touching it. And we're just gonna be holding it at the very edge of the shank. We're gonna keep our slightly downward lead pipe angle that we would keep when we're playing. We're gonna focus on air, 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 rather than pushing into our lips. And we're gonna buzz a siren. <laughs> If you don't cover that same range on your first try, that's okay. Notice the approximate range where you start really pushing and then really focus on speeding your air up in that range. Follow me on Instagram or YouTube for more horn tips.